Welcome back. You've joined a few writers from Hog Auckland chapter on Saturday 19th of August, um, a couple of weeks ago. This is a, a wet weather ride, and I don't really show too many of these, but, but believe me, we have a lot of them. Um, many of them end up getting cancelled, but uh, this particular one did hit the road running. We're off to Whitford today, South Auckland. Well, more like southeast, I guess, and uh, the ride is being led by my old mate Dino from Dino's Motorcycle Rides. He's got his own YouTube channel. So, I think there were six riders today, and we all had full wets on. Well, most everybody had wets on. There were a couple, of, I think Steve might have not had his wets in the saddlebags on the bike. He might have regretted that, uh, that particular move. Anyway, if you're not prepared to ride in rain in Auckland, then you're not going to get out on your bike a whole lot in the weekends anyway, because most of the weekends this year there's been very, very few that have been uh, without rain. So here we are, we're heading off, going on the motorway, and we're going to be heading down to see what we can find down, uh, down south. Now, I will point out it, it is a wet weather ride, um, which is why we've got a little bit of water on the lens, but it's not too bad, at least I didn't find it that way. Um, mostly it looks like it's not really raining. That would be a, an incorrect assumption. It's pretty much raining the whole time we're out on the road. If you can't see the rain, it just doesn't mean it's not raining, it just means it's not being picked up by the camera, but there are some points where you do see the rain quite clearly. Anyway, we travelled down the southern and got off at uh, Rama Rama, and when we got off here, Steve had to take a moment to correct an unlatched saddlebag on his bike. He spent a kilometre or so coming down the southern motorway trying to uh, hold it on by hand. We had our scheduled regroup once we got off the motorway, and Steve took this moment to pull to the side and take the, uh, the necessary corrective action while we travelled about another 50 metres down the road to regroup uh, behind Dino. And with it being such a small group, and we were travelling quite uh, quite well together on the motorway, Dino was a little bit puzzled um, why it took a little bit longer here than we might have expected. And uh, he was asking a few questions. And when we got to the uh, to our destination at the stables at Whitford, what actually happened there? And, uh, anyway, it all didn't take too long. There's Joe, our tech, waved us on through. Steve's now back in the. Uh, back in the group and we're good to go again. Now we're travelling down Ararimu Road and we're going to be travelling a long way along this road and this is when we started to find, you know, well yeah, the conditions, it's certainly not made for high speed uh, motorbike riding at the moment so we're just taking it pretty easy. The surfaces of the road, it's pretty greasy on top, there's a lot of moss on the road, much more than I can remember seeing the last time I came through here and when there's not moss there is clay from either potholes that have kind of got out of hand or from banks that have started to collapse and even again then there's slick tops for tar seal it just becomes a little bit like a skating rink so there's a lot of hazards that we have to be careful of here but it's it all just adds to the you know the need to have a good common sense approach to riding ride to the conditions ride to your abilities keep safe get to the end of the ride. That's the, uh, that's the key. If you do that right, if you come away, well, you know, having a laugh and a joke and a good social time with your mates after a ride, then that's a good ride in my book. So we're carrying on along uh, Ararimu Road here and Nev's has been pulled off there to mark that particular corner. We deviated away a little bit off the, uh, off the line and heading down Ararimu Road, we're kind of making our way gradually um, around towards Clevedon, but we've got a little way to go there yet. And some inter interesting riding now. What you'll be able to see coming up the hill here is where the green tops really surprised me. It's almost like a lawn on the road. It's uh, right there, you see, there's just, it's pretty slippery stuff, and you just gotta be, uh, just gotta take it easy. Also, there's a lot of clay on the road. You can see oh, there's Dino just marking out another big pothole got turned into something a bit bigger than uh, what it was before. And there's another one here. Again, the leg going out to mark and let me know there's some hazard on the road ahead. Uh, now, you're not seeing things on the left-hand side of the screen. That is a little bit of mud that got kicked up. 
Uh, it does get washed off by the rain in a little bit, so sorry about that. Uh, it'll be there for just another few moments yet. Coming up to the end of Ararimu Road here, turning left, I'm marking the corner just so that the riders behind know which way to turn. Turning left onto Paparimu Road. And that's going to then lead us on the uh, roundabout route back to, pretty much right back towards Clevedon. When we get, when we get there, we're going to then head to the coast. Now, I spent a bit of time talking about hazards and whatnot on this ride, and don't get me wrong, it doesn't mean that I'm not enjoying the ride. It's a great ride, having a lot of fun out with your mates, riding around. It's uh, pretty much a perfect Saturday in my view. Now this is Sky High Road and we did come around this road uh, a few weeks back on another ride under dry conditions and coming the other way. This is going back uh, a different way now and we can see a, a different perspective on the road. It's a little bit messed up, the road has fallen away, you can see that on the right hand side there's clay all over the place from where the hillsides have been uh, collapsing. And then we join on to Monument Road, which is kind of more of the same. Kind of uh, Sky High Road morphs into Monument Road, leading through to Clevedon. Didn't really capture much of Clevedon. Um, we did end up going straight through Clevedon, had a brief regroup there. Then travelled down, it's called North Road, towards the coast. And at the coast, there's only one way to go. You turn left and you're on the Maraitai Coast Road. And boy, it was blowing along here blowing real hard. These are heavy bikes we're riding. Uh, my bike would be one of the lightest. It's uh, uh, Bugsy as well, probably the same. About 320 kilo I think, 330 kilo. Uh, the other bikes are all much much heavier than that but even so we're getting pushed around by the wind here. It's uh, really fierce along this way and there's a lot of slick tar seal along here as well. Um, which if you apply throttle at the wrong moment you're going to have a little bit of a shifty movement moment which uh, can give you a little bit of a startle. Um, anyway we all got through this okay traveling along the coast through Maraitai then up towards Beachlands and at Beachlands there's a big roundabout there where we took a moment to have one final regroup before the here we are coming up the hill on the Whitford Maraitai road Pulling off the side to have one last regroup because when you're at the front of the queue, you know, the leading the ride, it's pretty hard to tell even on a small group, is everybody here? And it's always pays to make sure we have a couple of regroups, especially when the weather uh, is a bit sketchy like this. And we're away for the final push. I think from here it's only about total riding time, uh, 10 minutes maybe, to Whitford. And here we are here. The magic of Editing, we've come straight to the stables at Whitford and the end of the ride. A little roundabout, we go up the side and there is a little parking lot. The rain's coming in quite hard now, you're beginning to be able to see it on the video. Uh, but it doesn't matter to us, we're still warm and dry now, wets. And about to park the bikes and go on and have some uh, hot food and cold drinks. Another good day out riding with the Hog Auckland chapter. Thanks Dino for the ride. And take care out there. Ride safe, have fun. See you next week.